chapter 13, verse 21. Right. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud. Right. To lead them the way. Right. And by night in a pillar of fire. Right. So as we're going to see, as we see these UFOs, these chariots, they look like clouds or they look like a ball of fire. Mm. Right. And that's where when you have uh, right here. You think you're looking at a cloud, but you have what the so-called white man is trying to achieve, uh, invisibility, or, or what's the other one? No. Ste there you go, stealth, stealth mode. And this is where they're getting all this from. They're trying to copy, uh, they, they're trying to copy the power of the creator, right? And this is, uh, this is, you know, uh, the, the uh, little image of the Israelites with the pillar fire right but it looks like a what it looks like a cloud right so this once again the bible is giving us descriptions of what you have accounted and what you have seen and what has been documented let's get the facts right this has been documented right but uh, we got to warn the people no they did not catch any angels and no they do not uh, they're not dissecting if, if you cannot shoot down, okay, a UFO, and we got some images on that too. If you cannot shoot down a UFO, how is it that it crashed? If these, if these chariots move, there's one account of 17,000 miles per hour. Now that's just him probably playing with them. 17,000 miles per hour they move, but you're going to crash? Or they run out of gas. Or they run out of gas. <laughs> so, so the technology is that much advanced. Right, right. And once again, I'm using the word technology loosely because it it's not controlled by what we think. Like Will Smith, he got in a cockpit and drove around and learned learned how to steer. That's not how these things move. Right. And we're going to go on and move on and go to the scriptures and prove that according to the Bible. See, but why do they come up with these things? Why do they come up with their green people? Right. Why do they come up with their uh, aliens and fear them and get your shotgun, Bob, if you see them? Why? Because they know these are the things that are going to be coming back to destroy this country. Yeah. It gives them hope, too. It makes them feel like right. these, these guys are tiny little green men. I can just pop their heads open. There you go. You know what I mean? Put them on a dissection table. I, I can touch them. I can I can hurt them. It gives them a little bit of hope, right? <laughs> Let's see what Zachariah said. Right, right. Read Zachariah 5, 5, verse 3. And this is why they come up with these uh, movies. Oh, guess what? If if you're going to join with us, we got to join together against the aliens. You know what I mean? Will Smith can do it. You can do it, right? right, right. That's a lie. You can, you're not going to be able to touch them. You're not going to be able to put your hand on them, your guns, your weapons, your lasers, your bombs. And they know this. So uh, if you look at YouTube, YouTube is a lot of disinformation. They throw a little truth in How else could it be real if you don't mix a little truth in there? Right? And that's why they come out with a lot more documentaries. You know what I mean? That they caught the aliens and the men in black. But then you got some videos that show you the truth. That, that you know, that it is evidence that they have shown their, themselves. Right, right. Right? But why are they doing this? Read this. Zechariah chapter 5 verse 3. Mm -hmm. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. Right. This is the curse. This is what is going to happen to this country. They're going to be invaded. And, and we don't have time to go over the whole chapter. But they're going to be invaded by the armies of heaven. And this is what they fear. They fear this, man. That's why That's why when they put out this movie, we were cheering for it. Right, right. <laughs> but they fear this. Leave that up there. Read. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off. This is not talking about someone that stole a loaf of bread. This is talking about a man in a kingdom, a kingdom that was built off of rape, robbery, murder, bloodshed, and destruction, and that perpetuates lies continually for money and oil. And They're they not coming back for the, the average, uh, I stole a loaf of bread. Right. He's coming back for the man that steals nations. And 
and they know it's them. That's why they try to show us and join you with them. Right. You know what I mean? It's a fight against the aliens. You know what I mean? Because right. They want us to get in this mindset of, oh, we're going to fight against, we're, we're going to accidentally fight against Christ. Right. You know what I mean? But because they know it's the destruction's coming for them. Right. And misery loves company. Right. <laughs> exactly. And that's why they're uh, the misinformation. Right. You know, as you know, we we're gonna use uh, some images from certain movies uh, because they know what's coming to them. Look, they see it. They put it all in their movies. What's coming? The aliens is coming back for to get us. Why? Why do they tell you aliens, brothers and sisters, so you can go ahead and join their military and receive the mark of the beast in your hand and do the works of the beast, which is fight against God, His Son, and the angels. But guess what, brothers and sisters? If you join with them, you're gonna die with them. You understand? These angels are gonna destroy you. Read on. Let's read on, and then we're gonna jump to verse one. Go ahead. As on this side. Right. According to it. Right. It said everyone will be cut off. Read. As on this side. Uh huh. According to it. Right. Now jump to verse one. Let's see what it's talking about. Read. Then I turn and lift up my eyes and look and behold a flying robe. A what? A flying robe. So you have in Elisha, Elijah, mm. right, in Kings, describing it as a world. You go to Exodus, Moses, Moses described it as a pillar of fire, a cloud by day, right, a pillar of fire by night. Mm. Now, Zechariah comes back and said it was a what? It was a robe. Why? Because when these vehicles move, when they turn, they look like they're rolling. But you're looking from the bottom up. Right. Right. <laughs> if you look from the bottom up and you're looking at a scroll or a roll, you see it spinning. And this is what's going on here. And this is these are the accounts of the prophets telling you what these chariots are. They don't got nothing to do with green people, brothers and sisters. These are our brothers preparing to come back and deliver us from this wicked kingdom, right? Before before anybody tries to denounce it as a cult-like thing or whatever, that's what they're feeding you in movies also. Right. Is these guys jumping on a damn rooftop, butt naked with a, with a bunch of Kool-Aid, talking about they're waiting for a chariot to take them off to right. put Xenon or whatever. <laughs> right. I mean, that's not what we're going to do. The most high is going to be taking us. You know, right. one from the city, two from a field. We're gonna be doing our work. We're gonna be doing teaching the street, teaching right. the streets, and doing what we do. Right. When the most high, when the most high sends those chariots. Right. We're not gonna be all gathered together on a rooftop with picket signs talking about you know, we come and get me. You know what I mean? That's not what we're gonna be doing. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just to throw that in. No, absolutely right. Like we sitting over here, you know, as a cult, like waiting on these chariots and everything. No. We're oh yeah. Working. No. The, <laughs> the most high said, "This is not your rest. We're gonna be teaching the word of the most high." and uh, preparing ourselves for that salvation. Right. Taking away the old man and putting on the new man and being renewed in the spirit of our mind, right? Uh -huh. That's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, so once again, brothers and sisters, give me a, give me a little frontal real quick. Uh, no, you don't have to go to Egypt. You don't have to go to Israel. You don't have to get a boat and go back to the, the motherland. Why? Because the heathen possess thine inheritance. Our salvation is going to come through Christ. It ain't going to come through me. It ain't going to come through you. It ain't going to come through no man. It's going to come through our deliverer. So once again, these vehicles here are going to be your deliverance. They want to know how you're going to disappear. Well, how you're going to disappear is the most High is going to beam you up. And that's why they put out these movies to make it a joke, to make it, to make it fun, to make it uh, 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 to downgrade the validity of the bloodshed that these angels are gonna bring. I want you to read that on, read it again. Uh, Zechariah 5 verse one. Zechariah chapter five verse one. Right. Then I turn and lift up my eyes. Right. And look, and behold, a flying world. Right, go ahead. Verse two. Right. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I am, I see a flying rope. Right. The length thereof is 20 cubits. Right. And the breadth thereof. Stop. 10. Stop that video right there. And this is to, it's showing you that Zachariah, he's seen a big chariot. He's seen a big chariot. He didn't see one of the small ones. Right, right. He's seen a mothership, man. <laughs> Go ahead, read. Verse 3. Uh huh. Then said he unto me. Right. Leave, it, leave that video right there. Read. 
This is the curse. This is the what? This is the curse. This is the what? This is the curse. Why do they put this in the movies? This is the curse. When they see the chariots of the Most High, they know these chariots are coming back. They ain't coming back to anal probe you. They're doing that now to make fun and mock the so-called white man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you know what they, you know what these chariots are for? They know it's gonna come in and do this. It's gonna come in and destroy your white house and destroy your kingdom. Pause that. Go ahead, read. This is the curse, right? That go forth over the face of the whole earth. Right. Every listen, the world is gonna be filled with chariots. And this is how the children of Israel, this is how you know, brothers and sisters, and leave that there, because this is a very good point out to bring out here. You got these brothers, man, this these other camp, this other camp, or guys that told these guys. Brothers, you gotta move to uh, Israel. Right, right. Brothers and sisters, they can't get all of the children of Israel out of all these countries. Right, right. The pain and the suffering that the Lord is gonna bring over the world is gotta be done this way. Right, right. And the Most High is gonna send twenty thousands, two hundred thousand, thousands of chariots, two hundred million, excuse me, chariots. Right, right. Now, I was just looking at the dimensions of what he was talking about. Yeah. Now, uh, if you could read verse 2 one more time. Uh-huh. Real fast. Verse 2. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. Well, he saw a flying scroll. Right. right. Flying roll. Right. It was how long? The length thereof is 20 cubits. 20 cubits. That's, what, 30, 30 feet long. Right. All right. Now, we're talking about 30 feet long, but we're talking about from where he was seeing it. Right. <laughs> so, it, it, to him, it looked like a roll. It was right. far away. But it was 30 feet long as right. a roll. Right. So to scale, we talk about as you see it up close. Right. We're looking at something like what we just saw in the video. Right, right. You know what I mean? And yeah. this is what they fear. Right. But go ahead, I. Read on. And the breath thereof teach you. And it was it was 20, it was about 15 feet long. Or, you know, 15 feet wide, 30 feet long. Wow. You know what I mean? So he he's seeing that from where he's at on the ground. And, and then why do you think they put these in the movies? Why do you think they fear? I want you to pause that on the military, and everybody knows where we got this from. Right. We got this from Independence Day, and it was so uh, sweetly put together, I, we had to keep running this. But stop where the military, stop. This was going to happen. Right. But guess what? You're not going to be able to touch them with your missiles, with your weapons, and with no bullet. Read on, read on why it's right there, all right? Verse 3. Uh-huh. Then said he unto me, Uh-huh. This is the curse. This is the curse. And that's why they try to discredit. Right, right. That's why they try to say these are uh, demons or these are little green people. Go ahead. That go forth over the face of the whole earth. Right. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off right. as on this side, mm -hmm. according to it. Right. And everyone that swear shall be cut off as on that side, according to it. Right. This is what the Most High is telling us. Why? sending these angels back why he's sending these so-called ufos go ahead you can finish that up that video go ahead verse four uh-huh i will bring it forth said the lord of hosts and it shall enter into the house of the thief right and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name right and that's what they did america the great they say in god we trust they say they're with god but yet through rape bloodshed lies and falsehood they established this kingdom Go ahead. And it shall remain in the midst of his house. Right. Right. So, and, and it goes on. And uh, once again, we don't got time to go in depth into this. Uh, you brothers and sisters to come to class. But we want to get more uh, uh, names. Right, right. More um, things they call the chariots to identify them. Right, the we're, we're finding out world, wind, road, chariot of fire, cloud. Right. right. right? Yeah. So, and uh, I mean, all I was thinking was uh, Ezekiel. You know what I mean? There you go. Whirlwinds, you know, thinking the clouds. Let's go there. Let's go there. Uh, Ezekiel 1 and 4, right? Yeah, Ezekiel 1, verse 4. Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 4. <clears throat> and I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Right. Right. So once again, it's being described as this whirlwind. This is the best description for the time. Right. There wasn't no oh, flying saucer or, you know, I mean, this wasn't this wasn't the description they were given. They were seeing a whirlwind. 